Hi all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica, if you're new here. If you are new, I highly encourage you to consider hitting that subscribe button um, if this video piques your interest. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back. This is going to be a video of some things that you might already know about me, but I figured it'd be fun to do a reintroduction video I am almost at 500 subscribers, you guys, and I know 500 is not a big number when you're like in the YouTube world, but for a girl who does this as a much loved side hobby, I am excited! So here is an introduction for all of our new people. I encourage you to stick around so we can get to know each other a little bit better. Anyway, my name is Jessica, like I already said, and I am 29 years old and my family lives in Colorado. I am a stay-at-home mom and wife to four littles. Our oldest is nine. Our youngest is two. We have two boys and two girls. And so far right now we're done having children, but that's ultimately up to God. My husband and I have been married for 10 years, actually in like three weeks. It'll be our 10 year anniversary. That's super cool. We've been together for 13 years. He is currently, his name is John, by the way, he's currently deployed with his Air Force Reserve Unit and he has been gone since January and he'll be back sometime in August, hopefully. And I'm so excited, oh my goodness, that's only like, August is only a couple weeks away and then it's however long after the calendar turns. I'm super excited, I'm more excited than a kid at Christmas and I'm excited like I was when it was getting toward my wedding day and oh my gosh I'm so excited to have my husband home um he is definitely my best friend and we just oh my gosh you wouldn't even know that we've been married 10 years like seriously we are just joined at the hip and in love and he's the best guy ever um when he's not <laughs> deployed with his air force unit he is a law enforcement officer so I am a military wife and a law enforcement wife all in one big bundle <laughs> and that is an adventure within itself like I said we live in Colorado we are actually up in a mountain town on the western slopes and we've been here for probably a year since he started this department um, we I say we John has worked six years to get into this department. He was a sheriff's deputy for six years and he's been with this department for a year and it was a very long process um, and it took him a couple tries but this is the answer to prayer that we've been waiting for. God finally said okay now is my timing here is what you want and we could not be more thrilled. We did move up to this new community uh, when he started this department and we are actually working on heading home to the front range of Colorado. We have decided that this, well I say we have decided, but we feel that this community is not where God wants us. God wants us to go home where we were for the last six years and get involved in church there and get involved in that community and all of that. Like I said, I say God a lot. We are Bible-believing Christians. We attend a Bible-believing church, and our church has been so awesome to us while John has been gone. They've checked in on us. They've done some work around the house for me. Um, they bring us meals once a week while he's gone. It's just they've been a blessing. And actually, when we do transfer, and I say when, you know, in God's timing, when we do transfer, I will definitely miss them because they've been so awesome to us, but that's just an instrument God used in our lives. Um, and as we have matured in age and in spirituality and in our relationship together, we have not fought God's will so much, especially with this job and Air Force thing. Um, you kind of learn that, okay, God's will is going to happen no matter what you want. <laughs> and we just feel like this is not the community where he wants us. So we are very open to go where God wants us to go um, and be a ministry in law enforcement and military. It is a very hard to be a law enforcement officer right now, as you can imagine. And it's very hard to be a Christian 
law enforcement officer, no matter where you are or what time it is, um, that's a very hard profession for a Christian to be in. And John holds himself so well, and he has a love for people that even I still don't understand after 10 years. I could not do what he does. But he has a heart for people and a heart for Jesus, and he has the best job to do both of them because he can witness and bear testimony to everyone he comes in contact to whether or not you actually talk about God or not. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of what else to say here at home. I do videos about everything. I have no niche and I say niche, niche, genre, genre, whatever. I don't have like a single theme for my videos. I do day in the lives, I do shopping hauls, I do cleaning videos, I do videos where I just sit and complain a lot, <laughs> I do law enforcement videos, I do uh, military update videos, I do um, essential oil videos, we are Young Living Essential Oil Distributors and we love that company and their products and we try to stay um, just in general as natural as possible within our means and whatever's comfortable for us. I'm not the kind of mom who is super crunchy and can't have anything, you know, not natural. But at the same time, I really don't want to fill us up with chemicals and stuff. So we try and stay on the natural side. I am um, naturally creative as a person and I spend a lot of my time crocheting and knitting and painting and cooking and baking when it's not hot outside. It's 90 degrees today and it's already like 76 in our house. <laughs> so when it's not hot, I'm baking. Um, and we have a love for animals. We have one dog who I don't think is in here. She is our, woo, focus. She is our uh, second most recent adoption. We adopted her last year after Thanksgiving. She is a Great Dane German Shepherd mix puppy and she has some issues but she's great with the kids and she's a great big dog to have around while John's not around and she is just a lover, a giant lover. Um, then we have two snakes. We are reptile people. My son wants a bearded dragon and I told him, we have to get into our own house before we start accruing more animals. <laughs> um, so he's working toward a bearded dragon and I recently, when John deployed and it became time for chicks, I went out and got four hen chicks and we are raising four hens. Um, I think this month they are four months old and they live in our backyard in a little coop and we let them run around and it's super fun to have them. Um, they're very shy but they're very cool to have and I can't wait for them to start laying. They should start laying next month I think is the earliest that they can lay. So um, we're trying to create an environment where they can lay and the kids just have a blast. The baby chases them around the backyard and they're just, they're super cool to have. So we are doing that. I am a cloth diaperer. I don't have any cloth laundry right now. I've seen a lot of introductions where they're sitting and they're folding their cloth diapers. Um, but I also use disposable diapers uh, just because they're easy. But Pierce is getting ready to potty train so he will be in the cloth diapers more. Um, what else? I don't know. I, we live a very, very simple life and that's pretty much it. Yeah. So if you have any questions or video ideas or law enforcement questions or military questions or anything like that, please leave them down in the description, not the description box. That's my box. The comments. Leave them down in the comment box and I will, I would love to have video ideas to keep going on a video roll. And I hope to see you all back in our next video if you hit that subscribe button. And if you liked this video at all, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me on YouTube a lot. And hit that notification bell because it does work. 99% of the time it does notify you. So I'm super happy about that. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.